Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. This video is one of the 61 videos in over 12 and a half hours of training in my Lightroom 5 The Fundamentals and Beyond series. In this video, I'm going to talk about creating and using presets in the develop module here in Lightroom. A preset is simply a set of saved develop settings. Lightroom comes with some canned presets. If I open up the Navigator panel, as I hover over the presets, they're previewed in the Navigator panel, and if I click on one, they're applied. But they're just saved combinations of settings. If there's a Lightroom preset that you really like, or one that you've downloaded from the web, and you want to understand what it's doing, what I would suggest is that you reset your photo so that it starts out with no settings applied. Click on the preset, scroll down through all of the panels, take a look at the settings, and see what has changed. You can learn a lot about how to do things in Lightroom by doing that. Let me go ahead and reset this photo again and show you how to create your own presets. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the Effects panel, and I'm going to put a vignette on this photo. I like my film border that I talked about in the Effects panel video. Maybe I'll go white this time. So I like these vignette settings, and I want to be able to apply them to other photos without always having to come down to the effects panel and recreating the look from scratch. So I'm going to click on the plus to the right of presets, and I'm going to call this white film border. And then I need to tell Lightroom of all of the settings that I could have set for that photo, all of the development work I could have done. Which ones do I want to be able to apply to other photos? Well, certainly not most of these settings. I'm going to click Check None, and I'm going to check just Post Crop Vignetting. Now Lightroom by default is going to check Process Version. Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5 have some different controls than Lightroom 3 and previous versions did. So to apply some presets, you have to update your photos from the old process version to the new process version. In the case of post crop vignetting, nothing has changed, so there wouldn't be any consequence to not updating the process version. If you have updated from a previous version of Lightroom, I recommend that you watch my video on process version to understand this more thoroughly. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter or click on create. And down here in my user presets, I now have a white film border preset here. So let me select a different photo, and then I'm going to find my preset click on my white film border, and now I've got that film border on this photo as well. If I want to apply that white film border to multiple photos in the film strip at once, I need to use Sync or Auto Sync, so watch my video on that. Now let's go ahead and create another preset. I'm going to go ahead and start out with this photo. I'm going to work on this photo, and then I'm going to save the settings as a preset. Now, in this case, I'm going to create kind of a quick, vintage, washed out look. Now I'm setting the base exposure just based on this photo, and I'm not going to include exposure in my preset. For this washed out look though, I'm going to go ahead and reduce contrast. Let's collapse this so that the photo is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to reduce contrast. Maybe I'll reduce clarity a little bit, make it a little bit hazy. Take out some saturation, and then I'll go down to split toning, and I'll apply a yellowish tone to it. Maybe reduce the saturation a bit, close this out, and maybe I will go ahead and put some kind of border on this. So I'll just do something like this. We'll call this my vintage look. So now I want to save a preset, so I'm going to come over here to the preset panel, click on the plus, and I'll call this my vintage look. And I'm going to think through which settings I want to be part of the preset. I don't want to include exposure, because that would include that photo-specific exposure, and it would wipe out my exposure setting on my other photos. So I'm just going to go with negative contrast, negative clarity, negative saturation and vibrance, post-crop vignetting, and the split toning. I'll go ahead and say Create. I've got my preset. Let's go to this other photo here. I'll find my preset in the preset panel, my vintage look number two and I have the effect applied. Now let me just point out before I move on that you saw with this photo that when I applied the vintage look preset, the white film border that I had previously applied disappeared. 
That's because both presets used post-crop vignetting. If you apply one preset after another, and they include common settings, it's going to be the settings from the last preset that actually apply. They're not additive. For example, if one preset applies plus 25 on exposure, and the next preset applies plus 50, in the end, I'll end up with plus 50. Now, I worked on that preset on one photo. I applied it to another. But based on this, I can see that I was a little bit heavy-handed in the split toning for my preset. So on this photo, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the saturation on this. And then I want to update the preset. I don't just want to change this photo. So I'm going to come over to the preset panel, right-click on that preset, and say Update with Current Settings. It says, well, which settings should be a part of this preset? I've already got them checked, and I'm already completely happy with this. So I'll say Update. So now the preset will have a more subtle toning effect on it. Now, if I right-click on the preset, you'll see that I have other preset management tools here. I can rename them, update them, see exactly where they live out on my hard drive in my Lightroom Settings folder. I can delete them. I can export them to share with others. And I can also import presets that I've downloaded from the web. Anytime I want to import a preset, let's say into my User Presets folder, I can just right-click and choose Import. So when you find that there are settings that you like and you want to be able to apply them again in the future very conveniently with one click, think about creating your own presets. If you've enjoyed this video, do click here to check out the full series, Lightroom 5, The Fundamentals and Beyond. It's 12 and a half hours of top quality training for beginners and experienced users and will help you to become confident in Lightroom and take your photos to the next level. Also check out my blog for lots of free tutorials and tips. I'm Laura Shue.